Hi again and welcome back to slap bass lessons for beginners intermediate. This bass line I just played uses some of the elements we have covered in the previous videos such as hammer-ons, muted, uh, muted slap and muted plucks and also a new element, the octave. Octave is an interval. You know the intervals we, if we have, for instance, an A, we have a third, major third, a fifth, sixth, a seventh, and the eighth note is actually in a scale, the octave. So it's the same again. Okay, but I'll try to play the, the bass line again very slow, and it starts on one of a bar. One, two, and three, and four. And that's the first part. So it's a thumb, thumb, boom, kakakum, boom. It's an eight note followed by two sixteen notes. So I'm hitting the thumb on the low E string, and then I'm actually hitting the thumb again, but in a muted way. I'm muting it with my left hand here and right after the muted thumb I pluck the octave E 7th fret on the A string. And you actually put a little bit of emphasis on that. That comes a 60 note before the downbeat. So, and after that, then you just drop your thumb on the next downbeat. That means one, two. One and two. So it's as we have been covered previously. I always, when I play these thumb stars, I always have this kind of eight note going in my, my right hand almost no matter what I'm playing here. So it's the same principle. Okay, next part. So it's one, two, three, four. And after I have the two and, and then I play a two and with my thumb too. So it's three and four and. Okay, once again. So one, two, and three, and four. On the three, we have the first octave. Three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. When you play octaves, practice octaves. You can practice just going up. Down the neck. This is as I'm thumping the, the low note and plugging the high note. As I've said earlier, when plugging on the, the G string, I tend to use my third finger, and unplugging on D string, I tend to use my, my second finger. But you can do whatever you want to. Uh, I'll play the line up to now. So it's one. You play the octaves, you can also sometimes play a hammer on from the low, from the, the, the E string. Instead of just saying, you say, hammer on the G. So it sounds like this. But you can also in the start just play. Okay, first part, three and four and So the second part is 
has some of the same elements. I'll play the second part here. So it's actually easy because it's just the first part. Two and three and. And you remember this kind of offbeat feeling from one of the first videos. See, here I mute the downbeat and play the offbeats with my thumb. So both, both uh, parts. One, two, and three, and four, and... So far, so good. And then we have a hammer-on from A to B, and from B to E. So, and that is up to the, the, the last half of the bass line. And I'll play from vorne up, as they say in German, from the start, three and four and. So we have a hammer on, on the four, one and two and three and. and then we are uh, repeating the same pattern again. So, the next part, play like this, now play the whole thing, and up to the next part, three and four and... Next half, I'm just playing the octaves again in the reverse order, instead of saying G, A, I'm saying A, and a good thing when playing octaves is also slide up to the note. So, I'll play it again. One and two and three and four and... Last part, we have the G, A first, and then we have the A, G next time, and then it starts over again with G, A, and then we come to the last A, G, then it just say, and then it continues down the neck, G, F sharp, F, E, and after the octave E, you play the hammer on again, and then you're start from the top. I'll just play the whole thing again and try to uh, recognize the different patterns, the, the similarity of the patterns and the, the variations. I just, I just reverse the octaves. Mm -hmm. 